Hello, Afshin. Hi, friends. Today we are going to read another story, Afshin. Sure, I think the same, same book. book. Yeah, same book, second story. Okay. The name of the story: the fox and the crow. Wow. Fox and the crow. This yeah. is the crow. Is you have the very fox. interesting books, Afshin. Yes. Okay. Let's see what is the story. Okay. So I am the most beautiful bird of all, thought a crow, as she sat on a branch of a tree. Combing her feathers. Okay, great. She is no. using her wing and combing her body. Feathers. Body, yeah. Uh, no one can match my voice too. She will tell. So the crow is telling to everyone that no one can match my voice. She is the big singer like that. Okay. Not like a singer. A good bird. That be like a beautiful voice. Voice, beautiful. yeah. What's this? Makeup like that. Little bit. Like yeah. So she is telling. To her companions, meaning like to her other crow friends, right? Yeah. She is telling that she has a good voice. Has she spent her voice calling, calling loud. loudly? Okay. And she always like call loudly every day. Yeah. And so, spent hours. Yes. All her friends knew that she was a weighing creature. Means? Yeah, weighing creature. Okay. One day she spotted a large piece of cheese. and flew down and picked it up with her beak so she saw the cheese and yeah. she picked it up yeah from okay. the yeah from here somewhere down okay as she sat on the branch of a tree with the cheese in her mouth a hungry fox happened to pass by that way means this is the fox was walking that way and the crow was holding the cheese, cheese. in the hand yes so, very good you are you are listening to pro- you are listening to story properly the cheese is definitely for me thought the hungry fox see It is with the crow, but yeah. this fox but is he, thinking. But I think he must win because the crow must do something. Or the crow must have the cheese, so the fox must have the cheese. We must see. Which yeah, one. let's see what it is. It, it is going interesting. I hope. I think it's going to be the fox who will get it. Oh, okay. Let's see. For the hungry fox, I must find a way to get it out of that crow's mouth. This is how the fox is thinking now. Okay. Hmm. Good day, Mr. Crow. So the fox is wishing to the crow. Good day. Yeah, he said as he sat at the bottom of the tree you you look very well today so the fox said like yeah you are looking very well today and what beautiful and glossy feathers too he continued and your eyes are so bright and beautiful that i am sure none can surpass your beauty see yeah. like he is trying to like, give false trick, uh, trick. yeah he is trying to trick the crow see now now because she opened her mouth let's so let's read crow. that let's don't go to the end of the story okay so like what is happening here till now the fox is trying to give like false uh, updates meaning like, like you are beautiful yeah, yeah fox is trying to trick the crow mm-hmm. okay by now the crow sat there puffed up with pride so crow crow felt crow, like, like very so pride proud, yeah. proud of herself proud of herself that someone she else was is telling yeah me. she was most flattered by the fox words i am sure that your voice must match your good looks too let me hear just one song from you so that the next time i greet you i can greet you as a queen, queen of, of birds. birds see so, so the men they are telling like she is queen of birds yeah if she can hear the voice, song voice yeah so so like that okay the crow lifted her head up in pride and cleared her throat then she began to caw in vain the moment she opened her mouth the cheese fell to out caw, the cheese mouth. fell out of her mouth so she was so going to sad. say it, then the cheese came down to the fox head yes cheese fell that would be enough said the crafty fox to the crow that was all i wanted the fox took the cheese and ran away So the moral of the story Sorry, is very do important now. Flatters. Do not trust flatterers. Think before you do flatterers. anything. Flatterers. Yeah. Think before you do anything. Not so think you before you do anything. Like in your like if anybody trying to say, "Oh, Afshin, wow, you look prettier. You look handsome." Like there's so many things they say, but you know that he's trying to make something like wrong out of that, right? Let's first think what mm. what he wants. What he wants. So whether he's a good friend of yours, he's a long-term friend or he's just trying to pretend. So you can judge from that. So that is the moral of the story, friends. So I think like this is a very good story and we should follow this in our life also, Ashin. Okay? So you should take care when you go out if somebody are talking to you like you should understand who is talking correct or like who is giving you like um, Trick, tricking you. Okay? So this is a very good story. 